Echinacea, one of nature's immune modulators. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, Echinacea is a wildflower that's native to North America. And the medical ingredients, or medicinal ingredients, are found in the whole plant, meaning the root and the aerial portions of the plant. Now, its primary use has been for short, as a short-term supplement to sort of arrest uh, the common cold or upper respiratory tract infections or to shorten their duration. Now, what are the medicinal ingredients in the plant? Well, they're known as the echinococides, as the chief ingredient. So it also contains some immune, some immune modulating polysaccharides as well. So how do the active constituents inside echinacea actually work? Well, they have these sort of immune modulating effects that we see in experimental studies. One way is that they stimulate what's called the, alter, the alternative complement uh, pathway. And when that's sort of stimulated, the liver releases these proteins, it activates the white blood cells to better attack and digest viruses and bacteria and other pathogens. But the active ingredients in echinacea also increase the release of interferon production from the T lymphocytes. When that, ha when that occurs, when you secrete more uh, interferon, you get enhanced uh, T cell replication, so more lymphocytes proliferate to go and fight the infection. It also increases uh, the macrophage, which is another white blood cell, its ability to sort of gobble up uh, viruses and bacteria. So they become more active. And they also release more what's called tumor necrosis factor. And when macrophages secrete tumor necrosis factor, other immune cells are recruited to come and help fight the infection as well. So it's quite remarkable. The active constituents in echinacea also increase uh, antibody binding to bacteria and viruses. Once the, the beta lymphocytes in the plasma cells secrete antibodies and they lock onto the viruses and the bacteria, they become um, targets for the rest of the immune cells to attack. So with better binding of those antibodies, you get a better immune response. It also increases uh, the number of circulating neutrophils. When someone has an infection, when you look at their blood, normally the, new, the, the white blood cells called neutrophils are the ones that rise the fastest and to the greatest degree. Neutrophils are amazing. They actually can kill viruses and bacteria and other pathogens on contact by releasing what are called uh, respiratory bursts. They basically generate tons of hydrogen peroxide and actually blow up the, the virus or the bacteria or the infected cell. They can also do the same thing with emerging cancer cells. It's remarkable. So these respiratory bursts are very important. As we get older, after the age of 60, the neutrophil respiratory burst actually uh, is decreased substantially. So echinacea has this Im very important immune modulating effect. It also inhibits the release of hyaluronidase. For, uh, it's normally microorganisms like viruses and bacteria often secrete hyaluronidase, which breaks down the tissue between cells so that it's easier for them to infect the next cell and then the next cell and the next cell. By blocking that enzyme, they can't drill holes through the cement substance between the cells to spread the infection uh, nearly as effectively. Clinical studies have shown that echinacea is quite impressive. If you're getting an upper respiratory tract infection, it might, it might be something you want to use, but you have to know what dosage to use, what standardized grade to use. Otherwise, you're wasting your money. Not all echinacea supplements are actually going to do any of these things. You need the right dose and standardized grade that's been shown to be effective in clinical studies. These are vital factors. You also have to know there's certain drug-nutrient interactions where it's inappropriate to use echinacea, or uh, if you have a certain health condition, it might not be the best idea as well. So to really understand echinacea, click on the link below, read my short review article to make sure that you're going to use echinacea in the, in the safest, most effective way. All the scientific references are there so you'll know that the information is deadly accurate. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars. Um, other resources, downloads, and videos I've created, they're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.